This video is to help you get started with Speech Tools from Microsoft Word. Speech Tools is an add-in that gives you many additional features for dictation and transcription right inside Microsoft Word. All you need is Microsoft Word beginning with version 2007 through 2016 and any version of Microsoft Windows from Windows Vista to Windows 7, 8, or Windows 10. So the first thing that you'll need to do is go to the Dual Writer website, go to the download page, and then from here just click on the Download Speech Tools link. When you click this link, depending on your browser, you'll see a number of buttons at the bottom of the screen. Click the Run button and that will begin the installation process. Then just continue clicking through to the end. It's very simple, but if you have any problems with the installation, go over to the support page. Here you'll see the support form. Make sure to enter your email address and double check that it's correct so we can get back to you. And then in your message just let us know what happened. Give us a description of the problem and we'll get right back to you. So now we're back in Microsoft Word. When you launch Microsoft Word it will look just the same as it did before except there's one new tab here called Speech Tools. But if you don't see Speech Tools in Microsoft Word it could be that the installation didn't go properly. Click on the File menu and then on Options. This takes you to the Microsoft Word Options and here you'll find Add-ins. Click Add-ins and this is where you can manage all of the add-ins for Microsoft Word. You should see Speech Tools here in the list of add-ins. If you don't, it didn't get installed. So try one more time and if you still have problems, go back to the support form. At the bottom of the screen, it says Manage Calm Add-ins. Speech Tools is a calm add-in, so just click the Go button and you'll see a list of the add-ins. You should see Speech Tools here and also the box next to speech tools should be checked. If it's not checked it won't load when Microsoft Word launches. So double check that this box is checked then click OK and speech tools should appear in Microsoft Word. Now when you first launch Microsoft Word speech tools is not activated. So you click on the speech tools tab and you'll see on the left the button that says Speech Tools and it's off when you start and the, most of the buttons are dimmed here so you need to activate first. Clicking this button will also launch the speech recognition system if it's not turned on. So now speech recognition is on you'll see the shared recognizer appears and also now the buttons under Speech Tools are all activated so you can use them. You can see the speech commands that are all listed inside speech tools. You can open the transcription pane and do transcription. You're ready to go. All you need to do to do dictation is just say start listening. Start listening. I am now doing dictation with speech tools period. Stop listening. So Speech Tools is working and you're doing dictation in Microsoft Word. One thing you might have a problem with is a little box that comes up so all of your dictation goes in that little box. If that happens to you, right click on the Shared Speech Recognizer, go down to Options and you'll see here Enable Dictation Scratch Pad. Make sure that that's not checked. When it's checked, you'll see that little box appear. That's not what you want. Now, before you can do any speech recognition in Microsoft Windows, you have to make sure to go through the process to set it up. In Speech Tools, there's a button for Speech Settings. Click this, and the control panel opens. And here you can see Start Speech Recognition. This is where you need to go if you haven't used it ever before. And you can set up your microphone, take the tutorial, and do the training. One thing, make sure to do the training, because unless you do, you won't be able to do dictation. It, will, it doesn't work until you do the training. One last thing is that at the Dual Writer website, 
there's a button at the top of the website for training. Click here and you can see the Microsoft Word Dictation course. This course shows you how to set up speech recognition, all the details, how to use the shared recognizer, how to do basic dictation, correct mistakes, select text, and navigate documents, all using dictation. So once you finish the course, you will truly be an expert on speech recognition and dictation in Microsoft Word. So make sure to take that if you're new, or even if you have had a lot of practice. I'm sure you'll find information here that you didn't know. So now going back to Microsoft Word, just a few more things to be aware of. If you launch the speech recognition system and don't have a microphone plugged into your computer, you may experience problems. This isn't speech tools, this is the dictation system. Without a microphone, it will sometimes cause your system to hang up or to act strangely. So make sure you have a microphone plugged in. And the other thing is, if dictation is really terrible and it doesn't understand anything you say, that's the training. You have to go back to the control panel, click train your computer to better understand you, and go through the training. Once you've done that, you shouldn't have any trouble with the dictation. And now you're ready to go.